guys, welcome back. And if you're new, I'm Lauren. And I'm Amanda. And today was wild. So last night we were on TikTok and we saw this girl. She posted that there was like this book fair, huge book sale that was going on for like only a week. And we found out it was only like an hour away from us. So once we saw this, we knew we had to go. This was the second day that it was open. Mm -hmm. It's only open for six days. It was very last minute, but we knew we had to go because there aren't normally like these huge book no. sales in our area. A very spontaneous road trip. We just jumped in the car today, no planning. We didn't even know what to expect. We just knew we wanted to go. So we went at a really good time. It felt like nobody was really there admission was only a dollar there was so many great picks we were there for a minute all of the books were used but we found a bunch that were in perfect condition or just really great condition the sale was hardcover was three dollars paperback was two dollars and then they had some one dollars thrown in there too so we had some fun we went in and originally we had seen on the tiktok people were bringing wagons and like huge bar barrels <laughs> huge crates and things like that so we <laughs> we brought brought a beach wagon with us but since we didn't know what to expect we were kind of unsure if we should bring it in though i definitely think we should have brought it in i kept telling you we had filled our book bags and we were like carrying as many as we could and then this lady was like do you want me to put those on the side for y'all and we were like can you please <laughs> like thank you please help so we did take a lot of footage while we were there so we're gonna show you all that now and then we will do a book haul right after box full of books so we're gonna go ahead and show you guys this huge box was full of books and um, we're gonna go through them for you so the first two two Stephen King that I picked up four past midnight 11 22 63 which I've heard is such a great book and I have had it on my TBR for a while so I can't believe I found this one that's a thick book though well of course they all are yeah. but it's in such great condition it is. so I found the selection which was crazy Lauren hates me for this because I told her <laughs> I would never read this one just based off of the cover but somebody told me it had something to do with like the bachelor it was like the bachelor and that's all they had to say and then I was in so I saw this I had to pick it up two dollars two dollars is crazy come on I'll pick up that whole store but I'm really excited to read this one I think it's turning up into a movie a series I think a series so hopefully I can read that before that. I ended up getting the Mortal Instruments series, which is insane, okay? I've been wanting to read this. This is a classic. Everyone's read it, but they had each of them. The only one I think that was different was City of Glass. I think that's like the new cover. I just can't believe I found a full set. I'm so excited to read them. That's crazy that it's they were crazy. all there. And I got the whole series for $10, which is insane. But I cannot wait to read this. Another series I have that I need to start. So next I found Night Circus. Actually, I, I didn't find it, Lauren found it, but Night Circus, you already have this copy. Yeah, but now we can buddy read it. I see this one all over too. I don't know, it was just like, if I saw a book that I've seen a lot and like I, I would see myself reading it too, I picked it up. Staying on the series track, I did get the Divergent Trilogy and Hardback. And these are almost perfect they condition. Are. I am so excited. I loved these movies. And of course, the books are better. I know that. Theo James. Shailene Woodley. Oh, I love her. I love her. Her hair in the first movie. Her hair. You don't know, you know how she cut her hair later on? I don't remember. 
anyway, I'm so excited to read them. I heard that, of course, it's so much better than the movies. Okay, so I had to pick up The Fall in Our Stars. They had so many copies of yeah, this they one. Yeah, did. I loved this movie. It made me cry, so you I You didn't read the book? No. <gasps> so I can't imagine the feelings that this book is going to bring. I mean, when I tell you when I was watching the movie, I was, like, sobbing. The book is so good. I need to read it. It's like one of those that you just have to mm -hmm. read. Since I have been getting more into fantasy, like a classic one that I feel like everyone has already read is the Cinder series. I only found the first two, but I think it'll be like a great start. I, I have no idea what it's about, but I know everyone's read it and I want to hop on the bandwagon. <laughs> Honestly, they're not in bad condition and it's like $2 each. Mm -hmm. Insane. I just can't believe they had so many like well-known books yeah. next is the girl on the train i wasn't gonna get this one but they just had so many all around the place that i was like i guess might I as well <laughs> i think it's a sign i should get it another one i've seen the movie haven't read the book need to read the book three dollars why not i don't even truly remember what happened you don't no because I, I watched it like so long ago like when it came out yeah the book's good so i also did pick up the maze runner in hardback Dylan O'Brien, <laughs> when I tell you the chokehold that that first movie had on me and still has on me, I'm obsessed and I know everyone loves the book. I can't wait to read it. I know it's a trilogy. This is the only one I saw, but I had to get it. Just saying Dylan O'Brien's name. I'm so sad he's not coming out in Teen Wolf movie. No, I don't actually want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it because I'll, I'm upset. What even is the point then? Okay, so two that I have been wanting to read and have seen everywhere. The Woman in the Window and The Other Woman. I think I've seen this one in a different cover. That's why I was a little I confused so when I saw it. It's like literally a picture of the woman in the window. Murder Mystery, I think, or Mystery Thriller. I really want to get into those this year. So I see these ones all around, especially at Book Outlet. Mm -hmm. I always think about getting it from Book Outlet, so I'm happy that I found it here. Oh my gosh. I found the book thief there. You didn't want to buddy read it with me. Well, I've never heard of it. They had two copies. I mean, I picked it up. I had to. I see it all over Book Talk. It's supposed to be just like a heartbreaking story. I'm so well, you excited. Made me you know what? $2. Should have just got it. I, that's what I said. We'll go back. That's what I said. <laughs> it's fine. I'm so excited. You could borrow it after. <laughs> Just one that I've honestly had my eye on for the longest, and as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my god, I have to get it. If you've read this book, please leave your thoughts in the comments. Make her feel bad for not getting it. <laughs> no, I already feel bad. No, I'm just kidding, but I'm so, so excited to read it. Next, I found All the Light That We Cannot See. This was another one that I know I've been wanting to read for a really long time. I know it's a historical fiction. I don't know anything about it, but that's how I like going into books. This one is in great condition. Yeah. Which is crazy because the first one that I found was like chewed and like <laughs> completely beat up. So I'm so happy we kept mm -hmm. looking and found this one. I did end up getting one mystery thriller, I believe. <laughs> Final Girls by Riley Sager. I have seen this a little bit, but I'm just obsessed with the cover, if I'm going to be honest. Is like, she the one who did Lock the lock Every Door or something? The, the author's familiar. I don't know where from. I think that's her. I am excited. I do have a long list of mystery thrillers on my TV, on my physical TBR that I have not gone through yet. So I didn't want to go too heavy into mystery thrillers because I have a bunch, but this is one that I have been wanting to read. So I, I did pick up this one. Okay. This is another one. I have no idea what it's about. I've never heard of it, but <laughs> I like the cover. So I was here for it. It's called Never Have I Ever. I think it's a murder mystery or a mystery thriller. I judge books by its cover. Nice. I know you're not supposed <laughs> to, but I do. But I love this one. Mm -hmm. I I did get a couple more. I'll just do a little speed round here. Three standalone. Oh, no, not a standalone. I lied because the first one, I found the Red Queen, which is insane because I know this is, oh, you can't even see it. I know this is huge in fantasy. Everyone's read it. You either love it or you hate it. I can't wait to find out which one I am. First in the series, I'm so, so excited to read this one. I also got The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, classic. Everyone's heard of it. Everyone's loved it. They had a lot of copies of that one, too. Yeah, they had a lot of copies of this one, and I the girl who plays with fire mm -hmm. i think but i've never read this author so i wanted to see first just if i would like the writing but so excited for this one and then last i did get unwind by neil schusterman my favorite author i'm currently reading this as an ebook so as soon as i saw that they had the physical copy i was like oh i need to pick it up it was only one dollar so glad I, I did actually find this now i can read the physical copy yeah. and i like it so far i think i only got through part one but i really love it last one i found was the woman in cabin 10 and this was one that I just picked up on the way out. Yeah. I have no, I don't know what it's about. I just thought 
There's like a cool texture to it. <laughs> oh my god. It looks like a solid mystery thriller. It looks like thriller. a good mystery thriller. This is how most of the covers look. I was just sold by this texture right here. All right, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some good finds. My total was $26. Mine was $41, but... <laughs> I mean, I got a lot of like a series lot. trilogies, so I'm. It's completely worth it. That's solid. Mm -hmm. 18 books? You're lying. <laughs> this is it. We we don't need to be buying any more. I'm like, there is two book hauls coming though. <laughs> there, there are two book hauls coming. Yeah. Out. People were literally looking at us like we were crazy. I mean, and we think about it. We were holding these books. 18. We and... looked ridiculous no. holding these. Books. Even the cashiers were like, wow. <laughs> You guys, thank you. And we're like, no, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Overall, such a great day. Also, so unexpected. Yeah. Because it was so out of the blue. You know how things are just more fun when you didn't really plan mm -hmm. it? Like, we just talked about this last night at, like, 2 a.m. Yeah, we saw the TikTok, and I was like, dude, let's go. Like, it's... <laughs> It's only this week, and you were like, let's go tomorrow. Yeah. I was like, okay. Well, I was going to say the next day, but then I'm like, I know they're going to take mm -hmm. the good stuff, so let's just go tomorrow. <laughs> what a nice day. I feel like that was one of the first times that I went book thrifting. Yeah. Well, there's no places here to do that. Yeah. We have half price books, but it's never half it's price. It's not half price. <laughs> Sorry, it just got really hot in here, so we had to turn the car on. I'm like sweating. <laughs> okay, so we had a really great time. If you have read any of these books, let us know. Let us know, of course, any video suggestions you have, anything you want to see from us. We would love to know because we want to make content that you want to see. Okay, so that is going to be it for today's video. We do post new videos every Wednesday and Friday, so if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye. Oh my god. <laughs>